Uh, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us what's happening at Occupy Regina? Well, my name is Rob Sutherland, and uh, what's happening at Occupy Regina is a bunch of people are coming out to stand up for their rights, to express how they feel about uh, today's corporate greed and mismanagement. And, uh, you know, we're we're here in Regina standing up, and people are standing up all over the world. There's uh, probably several million people right this very minute who are not putting up with it anymore. What do you think it would take to end the Occupy movement uh, in the uh, way that occupiers would want? I'd say it would probably take a hell of a lot of change. You know, some responsible leadership, some corporations with ethics, and uh, Probably a bunch of things that aren't that likely to happen in the immediate future, but we're taking a step here. Name one or two of them. Well, I'd like to see uh, an end to some of these stupid wars. I'd like to see some uh, responsible management of the ecosystem. You know, I'd like to see the uh, pipeline from the tar sands down to the U.S. It's going to spread poison all across the continent. Stopped. I'd like to see. I just came from Lake Superior. I couldn't even go swimming because it was so polluted there. How does that happen? It's a great lake. It's the most superior one in all of Canada. I That's couldn't true. even swim there. Yeah. So, uh, that's one of the things. I'd like to see some um, changes in government so that uh, our leadership is working for us rather than the corporate interests that uh, they're so obviously getting puppeted by. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to see more or less people get more involved in, uh, in helping out things to get better the way people are doing right now. Let's All right. see some more occupation. Let's see some... More occupation. Yeah. More homes right. for people. That's a good idea, I think. And lower rents, too. That would be good. Yeah, we should live free. This is a free country. I thought we were supposed to live free here. It's supposed to be free in America, but they're a second world country because we made them a second world country. We didn't let them stay here when they want to come work here. We can't stay there when we want to go work there. We can't stay anywhere when we want to go work. The places where we want to work. Yeah, they've uh, bordered up our mobility quite a bit, I'd say. Oh, for sure. Yeah, um... I would say that uh, this movement is the start of people saying, well, we've had enough. They're drawing, we're drawing some lines and saying, well, you know, we're not going to push any further. And I think uh, it's something that's happening all over the world and it's something our leadership better pay attention to. Thank you.